Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing Sailing the Seven Seas, which is today's daily challenge from Lunestar Defense 5. And may I say, I'm glad it didn't say Sail the Nine Seas for some reason. I'm glad the expression is Seven Seas, although I would have wished it would have been like Five Seas. Because um, this means we have to do 70 waves, which is an insane amount of time. It took me 42 minutes, although. Most of it was played while, uh, well, processing a video, which means it only plays at like half speed, which kind of sucks for me. But still, it's going to take you probably half an hour to do this, uh, even if you do it at, in one time like I did. Because this was my first attempt, and um, yeah, it immediately resulted in no lives lost. So um, yeah, an easy, easy daily challenge once again. Uh, we did start off with the boats and we're going to add uh, an ice tower, then two banana farms at one and zero and then the second boat to pick up those few balloons that otherwise would have gotten through. Um, yeah, of course there are safer ways to do this. By the way, the ice tower is two and one. The boats are, yeah, various levels, but mostly, uh, well, one and two. Um, yeah, I am going to get one cannon bolt in range of that. Uh, uh, oh, uh, the, the uh, banana farms, that's what they're called. The banana farms are two and zero now. Uh, I, I'm gonna, getting one cannon bolt in range of that um, ice tower. It is set to uh, strong for the entire game, except for wave 59, where I switch it to, to first, but then switch it back to uh, strong again. Um, yeah, it will do a great job because it actually can pick up all of these balloons that are frozen It will help quite a lot with everything. It also pops the zebra balloons a little bit But mostly that is done by the mortar. The mortar is aimed at the ice tower as well A little bit to the bottom right of the ice tower to get the optimal uh, well amount of track covered But yeah, it's all the same as long as you have a, or once you have that big explosion which is like the two and zero upgrade. I th yeah, it's the two and zero upgrade. Once you have that, you don't have to worry about where you place it exactly. You just make sure that the splash will hit as much as possible. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Anyway, way 46 then, as you can see, not a problem at all. I didn't have actually have to uh, trail it with my, um, with my mortar. I just, yeah, picked it up with the boats. The boats, of course, great single target damage but they cannot help with the frozen balloons. Of course, having boats in the, uh, the range of this uh, ice tower is not a problem because you don't actually lose uh, any power, uh, any popping power to that. In fact, you get the popping power for the, uh, the ice tower a little bit higher because you will actually be able to snipe the non-freezing balloons, which is the camos, the... Um, uh, the, the, oh come on, white balloons and the zebra balloons. So you will snipe there every now and then. It doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, our goal here is to go for four and two, uh, well boats, and I'm going to build five of them, I believe. So yeah, they will take care of the mobs. They will take care of uh, all of the loose balloons. They will take care of the camos. The only thing they won't take care of is the uh, lead balloons, but that's why we have the mortar. And the mortar, as you will see, yeah, it picks up everything except for one balloon there. Um, one of the uh, camo lead balloons actually got through, so I had to switch my boat to first or aim with my mortar, but I hate doing that. Uh, so yeah, all in all, a pretty easy way to do that. Wave 60 I did follow with my mortar because I wasn't sure if I could pick it up. It wasn't a problem in hindsight, so you don't actually have to do that. But yeah, uh, it was the only time that I actually picked up my mortar, aim and, um, and went to do something else. For the rest, this is just waiting to be over. Uh, I'm just uh, upgra uh, yeah, upgrading my boats. By the way, I did get three and zero banana farms that is not good go for the uh, three and two it's way way better um, you can also of course go, go for the two and uh, four if you want to but I don't like the bank system um, by the way after wave uh, 
65. There are no more like super big balloons coming in or big clumps of balloons for quite a while. Uh, yeah, that was because of the two BFBs. I wanted to have the, uh, the ability to snipe them, but by this time you don't get those anymore. Uh, until wave 70 something so you have all the time in the world to get uh, some defense up for the bigger groups of balloons and then afterwards which is what i did in the back there with the arctic wind and two uh well two of the splash cannons and then you can just um, upgrade your boats and your boats will take care of these kind of uh, bfb well clumps i guess uh, they're not actually clumps because the most you get is like two and that's here <laughs> and that's not even a problem as i said uh we're just upgrading and if you get the uh, three and two uh banana farms instead of the three and zero you will have a better job of upgrading these um, these boats i have four now i'm going to get the fifth in the last round which is uh, two rounds from now. And as you can see, the BFB is just popping one by one, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to have all of those mo MOABs coming in at the same time, because MOABs are a lot faster than BFBs. What we want is to pop them one by one by one. And here, of course, we have four of them. And once again, no problem. I did upgrade the fifth one by selling one of the banana farms. Yeah, it's just for the fun of it. Anyway, easy way to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. GG.